Glory be unto our God. What are we going to do with grandmama? What are we going to do with mama? This is an age old question. And it certainly need to be answered by each and every one of us. We wrestle with this question oh so many times. And there will always be families who will be standing around yet wrestling with the same question. Even until the day that we die. Until the answer is finally given. The first thing that usually comes into the mind of some people is that let's put her in a nursing home. And yet they never give it one thought that the home in which you're now living in, it belongs to grandma. It belongs to mama. Now you're ready to just throw her out. You never stop to think about the neglect and the torture, the abuse that is in some nursing home by some employers and some employees. You never once give it a thought or even you look at it and you think about who taking care of you when you are unable to take care of yourself. You never think about it was mama and it was grandmother. You never think about those who had clothed you and those who had fed you and those who had wiped your bottom even when you were unable to take care of yourself. It was mama. It was grandmama. You read First Timothy chapter 5. It talks about the elders. It talks about how that we should treat one another. He said, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. The younger men as brethren, the elder women as mothers, the younger as sisters with all purity. Honor widows that are widows indeed. But if any widow have children or nephews, let them learn first to show pity at home and to requite their parents, for that is good and acceptable before God. Now she that is a widow indeed and desolate, trust in God and continue it in supplications and in prayers night and day. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, and these things give in charge that they may be blameless. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he had denied the faith and his work than an infidel. Let not the widow be taken into the number on the threescore years old, having been the wife of one man, well reported of, even for good works, if she have brought up children, if she have lodged strangers, if she have watched the saint feet, if she have relieved the afflicted, if she have diligently followed every good work, but the younger widows refuse. For when they have began to wax wanton against Christ, they were married, having damnation because they have cast off their first faith. And with all, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, not only idle, but tatless, also busy bodies, speaking things in which they ought not. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give not occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. But some have already turned aside after Satan. So if grandmother and mother have washed the same feet, if they have done all of these good works, why do you want to put her in a nursing home? Lord, help us today. In Jesus' name we pray, we ask it all, we give thanks. Amen.